second day. Okay, lipstick check, it's all good. The last few times I just tried to film this, I realised I had lipstick on my teeth. Anyway, today's video is a vibrant kind of pop of orangey red colour on the lips. It's a really simple look, a lot of cream products and this cute easy hairstyle which I'm thinking of filming so let me know down below if you want to see that. It's just nice, it gets it off your face but it still allows you to have your hair down which is lovely. Speaking of hair, I totally gave myself um, a haircut the other day watching or watching the Kali Bible um, video on how she does her hair. So, it's a great video and I thought it was quite simple. I only took a little bit off but saved myself some hairdressing costs so I like that and I am obsessed with this cream bronzer, like obsessed. So if you want to see how to get this look then just keep watching. To start with I'm mixing my NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturiser in the shade Greenland with one drop of the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in the shade G40. I'm applying this with a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I love the custom cover drops because they increase the pigment of your foundation, but they also help you change shades. So if you're changing skin tone throughout the year and you need different color foundations, if you just buy a lighter and a darker cover effects, you can mix and match to your desired color. Super handy. Highlight under my eyes, I'm taking the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Light Fair. And I'm just doing inverted triangles as well as highlighting my chin. Then for down the centre of my nose, I'm taking some of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. And I'm also covering a slight bit of redness on the side of my face. And then I'll just be blending this in with the same foundation brush. For brows today I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Dip Brow and this is in the shade Auburn and for this I'm using a Zoeva Brow Line Brush. This product is amazing if you live anywhere with hot weather or you like quite a statement brow. It's a waterproof formula so you don't have to worry about it fading or slipping off throughout the day. I like to use Auburn because it is a warm undertoned brown colour, so it's not too dark but it's also going to match if you've got any kind of red undertones in your hair, which I do, so I just find I like to match it to my artificial hair colour. To set my brows in place, I'm going to be using the Ico Tinted Brow Gel. For eyes, to start with, I'm taking the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in the shade Copper, and I'm just putting this all over the main part of my eyelid. These sticks are beautiful, they're so pigmented, creamy, yet they won't shift throughout the day. So it's really good for longevity and just making it last and stay vibrant. I'm just blending the crease with a Hourglass number no. 9 brush, so it's a synthetic sort of dome shaped brush. I'm just basically softening that colour into the crease. Then I'm going to be taking some of the Nude Sticks bronzing pencil, and this is a double ended one, but I'm going to be using the shade Terra Matte. So I'm drawing it into the crease just to give the shape I want and then I'm taking that same hourglass brush and just diffusing the edges lightly. So 
So just build it up to the desired effect, blending it in as you go. And then I'm also going to take a little bit of that same shade Terra and run it along my lower lash line. Curling my lashes with the Shure Amura Eyelash Curler, I'm going to be applying the YSL Mascara Volume Effect in the shade 5, which is an amazing burgundy shade. So I just do a lot of coats of this just to make sure my lashes are nice and bold. And I really like to focus on the lower lash line as well just to make sure they are a statement of their own. So today it was my first time using the Hourglass Illume Sunset. It is a creamed powder bronzer duo and I absolutely love this. The product is amazing. The cream is super blendable, it has the nicest undertone and the blush is just gorgeous. It's such a natural, really buildable shade and it just blends into the skin perfectly. So I'm taking that on my cheekbones and also around the outside of my forehead just where the sun would naturally hit. For blush today I'm taking the blush from the Hourglass palette and I'm applying this with a Real Techniques Duo Fiber Contour Brush. So I'm just taking the smallest amount and I'm slowly building that color up on the apples of my cheeks. I am taking the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Diffused Light and I'm applying that with a Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush which is an F40. Highlighter today, I'm taking the Illamasqua Gleam Highlighter in the shade Mirage and I'm just taking a little bit on my ring finger and slowly building that up along my cheekbones, a little bit under my brow bone, slightly down my nose, on the tip of my nose, my chin and a little bit on my cupid's bow as well. Okay, everybody needs to know about these lipsticks. It is the Makeup Store Lipstick in Crimson. It is a matte formula and these are amazing. They are so comfortable on the lips. They give a beautiful matte finish, but it's not a drying matte. It's a really sort of creamy matte that doesn't feel like it's gonna transfer between your lips. It lasts all day and I just love it. I think it is an amazing formula if you like matte lipsticks. So this is the finished look, I hope everyone enjoyed it. Like I said in my intro, if you want to see how to get this hairstyle, just let me know in the comments and let me know any feedback as well. Apart from that, have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video.